radiologic errors are very, very common, and they continue to be. Um, in fact, numerous studies have been done on this, including by the American College of Radiology, because they have a vested interest in trying to reduce uh, uh, this for the sake of public health and for their own sake uh, in increasing insurance premiums. And they have looked at this, and they have found that there is a direct correlation between the number of studies that a radiologist performs in a year and the accuracy of his or her diagnoses. Um, one would think that if there were too many studies done in a year that the radiologist would be too busy and uh, overlook some things. And uh, uh, that is actually a problem in the area of pathology, which is a different uh, aspect of medicine. Uh, but in radiology, it appears that the more that the doctor looks at films of various types, of various parts of the body, the less likely they're going to make a mistake in diagnosis. And uh, uh, so, uh, unfortunately, this is an all too common uh, problem. Uh, I would not recommend that everybody who's diagnosed with cancer immediately uh, have all their x-rays from the past uh, uh, reviewed especially if they had an early diagnosis um, and their stage was rather limited because it's unlikely that there was any mistake made. Uh, but if the cancer isn't diagnosed until it's fairly extensive, this is worth looking into and it's a fairly common problem. Mm -hmm.